Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us for a conversation with one of our teaching artists and one of Milwaukee's entrepreneurs, Ashley Jordan. I'm Jenny Tuton to the Interim Chief Engagement and Education Officer. Ashley, can you please introduce yourself and tell us a bit about Soulful Juice? Absolutely. I'm so excited um, to be here virtually. So I'm Ashley S. Jordan and um, Soulful Juice has been around, I would say, since the pandemic pretty much started. And it was really an opportunity for me to, to kind of find my, really find my niche and what I wanted to do. I've had multiple businesses before, but I feel like this one has really been the most successful and something that the community definitely absolutely needs so soulful juice is all about um spreading wellness through the body um with beverages and and cold pressed juices and ginger shots and lemonades and so much more but those are the things that we really really love to focus on and create in the kitchen so. that's amazing your business primarily takes place in alice's garden correct yes absolutely so, so yeah tell us a bit more about that tell us a bit more about why you picked that location and tell us about about that location yeah so alice's garden i always say because people ask me well how did you come up with your business idea so it kind of coincides with alice's garden um it didn't pick i didn't pick it 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 chose me and so mrs venus reached out and um i've been knowing her since i was like 16 years old mm. and um she really I would love for you to um, bring bring your soul food just to the garden because they really pride themselves on on bringing fresh things that mm -hmm. preserve the body um, and in bringing the community together and so Alice's garden chose me and ever since we've been rocking ever since that's fantastic so I mean you said that you started this around the pandemic when that when COVID-19 hit yeah. um, and then you know, we, we hit the, the current events with the civil rights movement uprising, um, you know, along with the continuation of COVID-19, which we all thought would be just a couple of months before we get back to normal. And, you know, so how has the two pandemics that we're really moving through right now in the world, how has it been like, what has it been like starting a business in 2020? You know, the one, th the one word that comes to mind for me is it has been um, uh, an emotion and a feeling of empowerment. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it definitely is difficult, obviously, because you don't know what's going to be thrown at you next and to see so much um, devastation a lot with both COVID-19 and the Civil Rights Movement and the Black Lives Matter Movement. It has been definitely um, just, just a lot of despair and um a lot of heartbreak, but at the same time, I, what I love about Soulful Juice and the, the mission that we are doing, and even Alice's Garden and so many other great organizations, is we're able to bring people together. We're able to bridge that gap where there's there may be that tension, but somehow we're able to laugh over a lemonade or we're able to inhale Mrs. Venus's <laughs> herbs and say, wow, okay, I love the way that this, this mint smells. It smells so fresh. Um, so all of those things have really, it's been tough. It's been moments where, you know, there's heartbreak and you break down and cry when you wake up and see so many different news things. But then at the same time, it's, it's this moment of, um, just we we can make a change and we can make an impact mm -hmm. yeah the idea of bringing community together right now it, it's so difficult in a pandemic because i just want to gather hundreds of people together that's what we do that's what we do in theater that's what we do in community organizing and events and you know but it's so great to be able to know that there's an outlet out there for folks too in the community still that's such a great service so how do you, I mean, you play a lot of different roles in the community. <laughs> um, you know, so how, how do you see the various roles that you play intersecting with Soulful Juice? Hmm. You know, I, I say every single one of my experiences down to even when I was a waitress um, at a hotel or at a, um, a restaurant attached to a hotel, all of my experiences have really been impactful to Soulful Juice and even how I market, how I brand um, and thinking about. So, for example, I really love being a teaching artist. I work with young students. And so how do I market to young students to put something healthy into their body? So what comes into play is making sure that the beverages are sweet enough, but still natural sugar. So that way we're still feeding our young <laughs> children <laughs> and, 
and not giving them too much um too much sugar but all natural sugar so there's there's a lot that comes into play but all of my experiences as far as being a teacher a facilitator a mentor all of those things have really come into play as far as soul food juice and providing opportunities to to the community um through soul food juice that's great Thank you so much for sharing your work with everyone. I'd highly encourage those listening to also go get a ginger shot and check out Soulful Juice. Um, so where can folks learn more? Where are you? What are the hours? How do you, you, you mentioned to me earlier that you're going to be starting shipping. You know, so, so tell us about how people might be able to find you and uh, engage with the juice Absolutely. Um, so where folks can learn more, soulfuljuice.com, our website did recently launch. Uh, that took a lot of legwork and just making sure that we were dotting our I's and crossing our T's. But soulfuljuice.com is a great place to start because it really gives an in-depth menu and shows us so, okay, this is exactly what's in each one of these things um, and how it will benefit the body. So that's the first place, soulfuljuice.com. Nice and simple. Um, also, we have our Facebook and our new Instagram. So go and click that follow button. Um, so we're on Facebook and Instagram, both, again, Soulful Juice. We like to keep it nice and simple um, for even our older folk <laughs> who are on <laughs> Um, so our website, Facebook, Instagram, and then I'm always available. People message me all the time like, hey, I, I, wanna, I want some of that juice. I've heard great things about it. I want to try it. Um, and so we deliver. So we're at Alice's Garden Tuesday and Thursday up until the end of October. So we will be there. So come and see us from four to seven. Um, but we also offer deliver opportunities and there's no minimum because we understand that times are hard. So we want people to get that health and wellness and we don't want to put a, a cap on it at all. Mm, that's so great. Um, one last question to close out our conversation today. If you had one wish for Milwaukee, what would it be? Hmm. Ooh, that's deep. <laughs> <laughs> if I had one wish, I would say I would like for Milwaukee to be the, the end goal um, and come together and put any of our, like I said, mentioned earlier, as far as the tension and the, uh, just the heartbreak and the outcry that's going on right now, to see the end goal. You know, this is, like I said, I work with a lot of students and a lot of youth and see the end goal that this is not only for us and our own selves, because sometimes we have to check our own ego, but this is for our, our babies that are coming up who may not know the, no, may not know the severity of what's going on in the civil rights movement, the Black Lives Matter movement. Mm -hmm. So to come together and see the end goal that Babies are watching us and that we have, we have an end goal in mind and we have to come together and put our, our differences aside to reach. Amazing. Um, great. Well, thank you so much for your time, Ashley, and for all the work that you are doing to create positive change in Milwaukee. Uh, we really appreciate you and we look forward to continuing to work with you this season. Yay! Thank you. <laughs>